searching for cases or files. If you have many cases and files in the service, you can easily find a specific case or file from the search section using either keywords or by locating them on a map. To begin, go to the search section on the left side of the screen. If you know you'll be searching only for cases or files, you can go to the Cases section and run an empty search, or go to the Files section. You can also limit your search results by opening the search criteria and checking or unchecking the Cases or Files option. Let's go through the different fields in the search criteria. You can limit the list to only cases and files that have been associated with specific categories. Files associated with cases in selected categories will not show up unless they have been specifically associated with the category as well. The time range for the files or cases can be specified as well. This is set to any time by default, but you can put in a time range with a starting and ending date and time. Use the calendar and clock buttons to easily choose a date and time, or you can type it directly in the field. The time range option must be checked to make any changes to the dates and times. Any files or cases that fall within the specified time range will be listed in the search results. For video files, the file will be listed if any part of the file is within the time range. For example, if we have a video file that runs from 1.30 p.m. to 5.40 p.m. and we search between 11 a.m. and 2 p.m., the file will be shown in the search results. A search from 5 p.m. to 7 p.m. will also list this video file in the results list. The date and time filter can be set to look for files based on the creation date or upload date. You can also choose the case status, either open or closed. Having both or neither checked will run the search on all cases. The search results can be filtered to only show cases that have files or cases that have no files associated with them. Similarly, you can filter the results to only show files that have been linked to a case or files that have not been linked to any cases at all. You can also filter the results by device assignment. Click on this filter to choose the users whose assigned devices will be considered as sources for files. On the top of the page, you can also type in a partial string to search for. It will look for the words you entered in the search field in the file or case name, the description, or in any tags that have been added to the file or case information. Click on a case or file from the search results to open it. To search for files or cases by location, click on the map icon in the search page to bring up the map window. If you have already filtered the list of results, it will only show you those cases and files on the map. The map icon will indicate if there's a case or file at that location, and will group them together if there are many files and cases close to each other on the map. The icon will show a number based on how many have been grouped together, or three dots if there are too many to display. Click on a number to zoom in and display the cases and files indicated in that group, or a case or file icon to get more information and open the case or file. On top of the map you have the same search box and criteria as on the previous screen on the left side, and on the right you can perform various map search functions. The first field is to search for an address or location on the map. The button next to it will recenter the map on that location in case you've dragged the map off of that spot. The last button will go back to the search results and will be filtered to only list all cases and files that were currently displayed on the map. On top of the results list, you'll see that it is only filtering based on the map location and give you an option to show all the results.